you know, they're not ranked number three for, for no reason. They've been uh, very decisive in all their wins, um, you know, except for a great overtime game against USC. But um, they've got a great quarterback, the best in the country, um, and then a lot of other guys to go along with them, you know, and that's the one thing. It's, it's unfortunately, as I said last night, it's not just Andrew Luck. You know, they've got a great offensive line. They've got three really good tight ends. They're running back. I don't think it's enough credit for how good he is. And then the top defense in a conference. So, you know, we got our, our hands full when it's a big challenge, and our guys are excited about it. Having coached against Andrew twice, though, what types of things just makes him uh, stand out among other quarterbacks? Because he, he can do it all. He's 6'4", he's 235 pounds, so he, he's, he's a big, strong kid. He's tough to take down. He can run. Um, you know, he'll, he'll beat you with his feet, and that's a real tough thing to do. Um, he's extremely accurate, and he's extremely smart. So he, he's the whole package, and that's why, you know, he's a consensus number one pick in the NFL draft for a reason. I mean, he, he can do it all. I don't think there's a, really a, a, any glaring flaws to his game at all. I think our defensive line is playing fantastic, and, and uh, I, I knew it was going to be a strength of our team coming into the season, even though we lost a few guys. Um, just felt like, you know, how they practice in the spring, and we have to go against them every day in the spring and every day in fall camp, and, you know, they caused a lot of problems for us, and, and they're very athletic, um, and there's not just one guy. It's, it's an entire group, and they're all playing at a really high level right now. Chip, that game two years ago down there was obviously your last loss in Pac-10 play, Pac play. What do you remember most from that game? Is there anything still relevant about what happened in that game for, for this game coming up? Not really. I mean, we lost. That's about the only relevant part of it, you know, and they did a good job. You know, they jumped out to a good lead. They were up 17 at the half. You know, we kind of fought back in it, but it was a little uh, too much too late. You know, give them credit. They did a nice job back there. When you look at uh, Stanford this year with the new coach, David Shaw, do you see anything remarkably different than a Harbaugh coach? A Harbaugh coach in the yeah, obviously David has his, his imprint on the program, and, and anytime you take over, um, any program, you know, it's it's not just well they were good last year, they're going to be good this year, and I think he's done a really good job of transitioning. And, and when you can make that transition seem seamless, then then you're doing a really good job. But um, you know, they, they they are a little bit different than last year. Um, but every team is just because of your personnel. They've lost you know four or five players off their defense from, from last year. They lost a couple guys um, from their offense last year, a couple receivers that were good players. But you know, the kids that they, that, that have, have stepped up besides them um, have done a really nice job too. So I, I think they've done a really good job of transitioning from coach. How about it, to David? When you talk about how you want your team to get better each and every week, each and every game, how would you assess the team's play right now? Just to see if you, think that you guys are actually doing that, getting better. Yeah. I thought we played better from you know the week before to the last week against Washington, and that's what we need to continue to do for for us to improve. You know because we're still a young team, and and you never arrive in this game. You have to continue to improve on a weekly basis. We made mistakes last week um, against Washington that that we improved that hopefully we improved and worked on today in practice, and and, and you hope you don't make continue to make the same mistakes. That's that's a sign of you're not getting any better. But different scenarios and different situations come up in every game, and when you when you get them, you kind of coach them up, and then hopefully we learn from our past experiences and move forward, but this team has improved on a weekly basis. I really believe that. We good? Thanks, Jeff. Thanks, guys.